Hey guys, welcome to Preaching in Pajamas. I am filming this Tuesday night before bed because Wednesday I have work in the morning, so I'm not going to be able to do the video then. My fam family is all asleep. However, I am wearing pajamas because I'm going to be going to bed soon. And this is going to be a slightly different video than the one I've done in the past. So um, I'm going to be reading a small section of a book that I have been liking recently, and we'll talk about that and what that has to do with scripture. So the book is Salvation by Allegiance Alone by Matthew Bates. And the whole concept of the book is that the way that we have seen faith uh, in the modern in the modern American church is backwards to how the original authors of scripture intended it. Well, that's kind of the thesis of this book. What, what, uh, Matt, what Bates is talking about is how we have twisted faith into just be like an intellectual assent to who God is. And we've just minimized it to that, whereas the original Greek word that was used uh, could be much more appropriately understood in our modern context as uh, allegiance or loyalty to Jesus as the king. So I am only in the first chapter. I read kind of slow and uh, haven't gotten too far into it yet, but a quote really stood out to me, so I'm going to read that for you guys really quick. From what I've read so far, I do recommend this book. Uh, however... Like I said, I've, I've only read the introduction in the first chapter, so I can't really give too much information on that. So this is the quote that I had. The point is that real biblical faith is not a general positive mindset or a blind optimism, but is directed toward a defined object and is the trust and it is the trustworthiness of the object that sources and fixes faith's genuineness. So if we want to grow in faith, we should study and contemplate God's extraordinary reliability. If we want to better understand faith, if we want to grow in faith, we should explore, we should contemplate, we should meditate on God's reliability. That's just a really interesting thought. Um, as I was, as I read that, I thought back throughout throughout the Old Testament, and. Every time God appears to someone or God talks to someone, he always says something about who he is. He often says, I'm the God, I'm the, God the father of, um, I'm the God of your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He'll say, I'm the God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. He, he oftentimes will reference his reliability when saying who he is, something that he's done for them in the past. And that was, that was really standing out to me, like, how can how can I better grow in faith except to study, contemplate, read about, read about in God's word, read about his reliability, read about who he is and all of the great things he's already done. God is going to do those great things again. And well, that's that's a pretty great thing. So I don't know who in particular this is going to reach out to, but we all we all have this. We're all supposed to be constantly growing in faith. We're all supposed to be constantly growing in, in our closeness with God and also in our, in our trust in him. And it's not some like shot in the dark or um, leap of faith like we see in Indiana Jones. That's like, that's not what faith is. Faith is trusting God because we have evidence of him, because we've experienced him, because of all of these other things. And an element of that is knowing that he is reliable, knowing that he's going to do what he has promised. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. I hope it can lead you in the right direction to grow in your faith. I'm John, and this has been Preaching in Pajamas. Bye, everyone.